This is a quick introduction to the Table Agent dashboard. Table Agent gives you the option to select from two different dashboards. Reservation Book Styled Dashboard and Table Management Dashboard. So what is the difference? In general, the Reservation Book Dashboard is just that. A Reservation Book. You take down the customer information and save the reservation to your Reservation Book. This is our default dashboard and it is recommended for all new restaurants. The Table Status Dashboard offers additional table management tools. All reservations are table specific, and you have visual control over the status of each table. But don't worry, you can switch between the two dashboards anytime. Let's first take a look at the Reservation Book Dashboard. In the upper left corner, I can access our main menu. From there, I can view reservations, customers, manage employees and restaurant profile, edit table agent preferences, business hours and time slots, view reports, and the help section. Right in the middle, I have our current time, based on our time zone. On the right, I have access to my account. Right below, we have four very important buttons. The reserve button, table search button, waitlist button, and the walk-in button. The plus reserve button will open the advance reservation form window. We have a separate video on how to make and manage reservations. For now, let's just make one quick reservation for tonight. First, we select a date. The system will automatically load the options based on our business hours. We select dinner. And the reservation time. Then, we select the number of people for our reservation. Next is the EDT field. EDT is the estimated dining time. Our default EDT is 2 hours and is preloaded by default. We can type in the name of the customer, or, if we have a returning customer, we can search by a name or phone. I will type the last name and click the Find button. The system found a name match. I can just click the name and the system will load the guest information including phone and email address into my form. By searching for a customer, I can keep track of our returning customers, and our loyalty program. These are the only required fields and are marked red. I can assign a section of the restaurant, or a specific table. I can even assign multiple tables. Let's assign tables number 1 and number 2. There are several other optional fields that we will skip for now. We can set a special occasion. That will display a small icon, next to the guest name, in our dashboard. You can create more custom icons in your preferences. I can also type in an additional note for our employees in the note field. We can send text message confirmations, and booking reminders to our customers. I will check the send SMS box, and that will send a booking confirmation to my phone. We can also send an email confirmation. Or, we can send both. I will select the confirmed reservation status, and click the save reservation button. We can now see the reservation we just made in our list of reservations for today. We see the status of the reservation. By clicking the reservation status icon, I can quickly and easily change the reservation status. These are the most common reservation status options and we have more status options available through the main reservation window. If you want to keep track of your customers currently dining in your restaurant, you can mark the reservations as seated. Similarly, once finished, you can change the reservation status to finished. I see the time, which is also a button to edit the reservation, in case we want to make any changes. By clicking the user button, I can access the guest information and see all past and future reservations for this customer. 
Please note, the customer profile is not generated for incomplete user profiles, and for customers without a valid phone number. We can see that we have reserved table number 1, and table number 2. We have a birthday icon, and the reservation note icon displayed. I can hover over the message icon and see the note we left for this reservation. If you need to display additional dashboard messages for your employees, similar to this yellow message, you can do that through your dashboard preferences. You can also display business hours specific notes through your regular and special business hours. We can sort our reservations based on their status. The first tab will show all reservations for this day. The booked status will only show confirmed reservations. We also have the waitlist tab for customers on our waitlist, and we have the seated tab, that will show all currently seated reservations and walk-ins. A finish tab will display all customers that already finished their meals and left the restaurant. If you don't need the optional reservation fields, and you just want to make a quick reservation, you can use the quick reservation form. When we have a customer that we want to put on our waitlist, we can easily do that by clicking the waitlist button. Similarly, to the regular reservation form, we have the party size, phone, and name fields. In addition to those standard fields, we also have an estimated wait time field. Restaurants that are still using pages, can take advantage of the pager number field. We can also send text message notifications to our waitlist customers. First, we send the, you have been added to the waitlist, text message. When we are ready to seat the customer, we can send the, your table is ready, text message. When we go to our waitlist tab, all customers are listed based on the time they have arrived. When we have a walk-in customer, we use the walk-in button. First, we select party size. If we need to, we can change the estimated dining time. We can assign a table or multiple tables. We can also assign a specific waiter if we want. Those fields are optional. We click the seat walk-in button and the guest is automatically saved under our seated tab. We can easily switch between tabs and see the number of reservations and people for each status tab. We can also sort our reservations by reservations status, time, name, party size, table, or a reservation source which is either online, by phone, or a walk-in customer. A calendar icon will give me easy access to any future dates. I can click Saturday and I can see all the reservations we already have for Saturday. I can go back to today by clicking the calendar icon in the middle. The left and right arrows will allow us to quickly navigate between days. I can go to tomorrow and back. Right below our quick reservation form, we have the time slot limits and custom account for each time slot. Through your time slots, you can manage the flow of customers and you can easily see how many customers you already have for each time slot. You can set a guest count limit per each 15 minute time slot during your regular and special business hours. For example, when you set the 6 o'clock time slot limit to 20, the reservation system will only allow 20 customers at 6 o'clock. You can define your time slot limits for each day through your business hours. We click, menu, and select hours and time slots. You can also set custom time slot limits for special business hours such as Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, or any day when you need to create special rules. We scroll to our regular business hours and we can click the blue tables and time slot button. From here, we can define the time slot limits. If you need to block the specific time slot completely, you can easily set it to zero, 
and the system will not allow any online bookings at that time. By default, all tables are available for online bookings unless the table is set as offline in the table settings. With Table Agent, you can define booking times for each individual table by blocking the table during specific times. For example, when you need to block your chef's table on Saturday between 7 and 8 o'clock, simply click each time slot in that time period and the table will be removed from the inventory at those times, but will be still available for bookings before 7 and after 8. To learn more, we have a dedicated video just for time slots, business hours, and blocking tables. Let's go back to our dashboard. Right below time slots, we have some more handy buttons. The six user icons will allow us to search and display the available tables on busy days. Your hostess can click the number 4 button, and the system will display all available tables for 4 people. This is the easiest way to cc the current table availability, and reserved tables for upcoming reservations. The font size buttons will allow us to increase and decrease the font size to better fit the reservation list on the size of the screen and device we are using. In general, a bigger screen is better, but Table Agent is optimized to work even with tablets and phones. Right next to the font size buttons, we have the Compact View button and the Refresh button. The Refresh button will update the reservation list. Here on the left, we have a navigation tab with a few additional dashboard views. Currently, we are in the reservation book view and the icon is highlighted. The next view is the time list view. When we switch to the time list view, we will see all of our reservations for each time slot. For our convenience, the time slot limits and the custom accounts are also included in this view. The next view is the table list view. This view will conveniently display all the reservations that we have for each table. This will provide a quick and easy to see an overview of our table inventory. In many cases, this is the easiest and quickest way to see what tables we have available on this day. Next view is the table status view. Here we can see all of our currently seated customers and the status of each table. If you need to manage your tables, we recommend that you switch to the table status dashboard. Let's go ahead and switch to our table status mode by clicking the orange preferences button. In our dashboard preferences, we can change to the dashboard view and edit some other dashboard settings including the dashboard messages, reservation preferences, and custom icons. Let's switch to the table status mode. The main navigation of the table's status dashboard is almost identical to the reservation book dashboard. We see our calendar switch, time slots, and messages. The only difference is the split view. On the left side of the split view, we can see the list of our tables. By default, all new accounts are preloaded with 5 to 10 tables and you can add more tables through your restaurant preferences. On the right, we have a list of today's reservations. We can again sort them based on their status by clicking the reservation status tabs. On our reservation list, we can see all today's reservations. Again, by clicking the reservation status icon, we can quickly change the status of this reservation. Perhaps, the customer called and informed us that they are running late, and we will mark the reservation as running late. When the customer arrives at the restaurant, by clicking the orange left arrow button, I can seat the customer. That will open the seat table window where we can see the status of all tables. We can see that we have a table number 1 already reserved, or we can change the table by selecting one of the other tables. All reserved tables are displayed in red, and seated tables are displayed in blue color. This will give us a visual control over the status of our tables, and it is very convenient when we are seating our walk-in customers. 
Having the table status visible, we won't accidentally see to walk in at the table reserved for another customer. We can change the party size and we can change the estimated dining time. Optionally, we can assign a waiter from our waiter list. Let's click the seat table button. Once we seat the customer, we can see the customer name and the table status as seated. We can change the table status by clicking the table status bar. We can easily change the status of the table. This way we have visual control of our restaurant and we can see the current status of each table. We can click the reservation time and that will allow us to change the reservation or to move the customers to another table if we made a mistake. When the customer is finished, we can change the status back to available. That will move the customer from the table to the finished tab. Again, we can see the customers we have already served the total number of tables and customers. The waitlist button works exactly the same as in the reservation book dashboard. The walk-in button in the table status dashboard will give us the options to select tables and the estimated dining time. When the table is seated, nobody can make a reservation for that table, and only tables that are set as available, are available for online bookings. We can also block tables by selecting the blocked status. The table status dashboard also has the left navigation tabs and we can switch to the time slot view, or the table list view. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please give us a call, or send us an email.